Welcome to the tutorial for interfacing with StackCrew. This video illustrates how to connect the hardware, apply the proper software settings, and how to monitor and verify the data in the Dactronic software. Follow along on screen or with your own equipment during the tutorial. The Dactronic Scoring and Timing Interface, or DSTI computer, is used to receive StackCrew information and broadcast it across your Dactronics network. Open the DSTI software on this computer by double-clicking the desktop icon. Ensure the proper sport and StackCrew interface are selected in the column on the left side of the software. Connect the Dactronics supplied USB to serial MOXA adapter to the appropriate USB port on the StackCrew computer. If this is the first time using the MOXA adapter on your StackCrew computer, the MOXA driver software will need to be installed. Connect the serial end of the MOXA adapter to the J1 port on the silver signal converter. A 26-pin serial cable should connect the signal converter to port J2 on the Dactronics J-Box. Ensure the signal converter is plugged into a wall outlet and the power indicator is lit. On the StackCrew computer, open TASCOMS32, which is typically found under Start, Programs, TASCOMS32. In the left side data source column, choose Scoreboard Data and select the sport. Type the appropriate entry in the monitor file box for the sport. In the right side main COM port column, Ensure the correct COM port is selected and check the Enable Output box. Set the baud rate to 9600 and data bits to 8. For parity, choose None, and for stop bits, choose 1. The outgoing data format should be set to scoreboard data. Under Flow Control, check the box for RTS slash CTS and force New Line. When the settings are correct, click Start Monitor File. Open an old game or start a new game for testing purposes in StackCrew. Enter a play to begin pushing data to the Dactronic system. To verify StackCrew data is being received, choose Monitor Ports under the View menu in the DSTI software. Choose the port that lists Venus Scoreboard Stats, typically UDP IP 21321, and click OK. Data should populate in the Monitor window. Data can also be monitored in Show Control by clicking the arrow in the DSTI widget at the bottom of Display Studio. When configured correctly, the widget shows the team abbreviations for the current game open in StackCrew. Click the Monitor icon next to Venus Scoreboard Stats Network to view the data. This concludes the tutorial for interfacing with StackCrew. Continue to How to Create a Real-Time Data Graphic to learn more about showing stat data on your Dactronics display.